be honest here, it's sort of like suicide. But we're gonna jump straight into the game. It's a three that the round is live. It seems that this time around, wasted potential. Nice little pick uh, taken up here by Sully. And uh, gonna continue holding on over here, side. But uh, the bomb is gonna go down. It's gonna be Captain Kirk. Salud, he was at least a little bit relevant towards that art side. I'm sorry, the short side. But as soon as the players start coming in from arches, he was immediately traded out. Luckily, his teammates are still here. But in a 3v4, it becomes easier. Yep. And uh, there you go. It's, uh, it's the kills going the way of the side of Team Headshot East. It's clearly living up to the name, but I'll try to return the favor. But Hellboy is going to be there to face the trade. So, it's going to be the end of that. Headshot. Posting up the first round of board. Quick, swift play is uh, what got them the bomb down on the side. So kudos to them. But the uh, question is, can they keep this play up? Because when the buy round comes out, that's going to be the true asset test. For now, Wasted Potential is just going to take a breather. Or are they? They're actually going to buy up. They're going to close this one out. Interesting. I recognize some of these names. I recognize Kara. I recognize Velocity. So uh, yeah, these guys are definitely... Uh, these guys have been around the Indian scene for quite a while. The question is, can they... Uh, Performance today over here to secure the win. In the previous round, Headshot Esports did a pretty good job of going towards Arches first. And uh, they let Sully just stay over there. He was hiding in the smoke using uh, the default box as cover. He did manage to get one pick out of that. But when you've already lost the side, there's not much you can do except just hope that you are able to hold onto the boiler area. That's how Headshot Esports were able to win in the previous round. They went in a direction which Wasted Potential was not ready to defend. This time though, they are taking it very, very slow. They know Wasted Potential is on Nico. They don't want to walk into a stack or any sort of, an, uh, uh, any sort of a trap uh, per se. Yep. So they're just going to take their sweet time, figure out what the setup of Wasted Potential looks like. It's great that they're managing to bait out the smokes. So that's less utility left for uh, Wasted Potential in order to stop Headshot Esports. But now they smoked off Arches. It's a clear indication that they're going to jump down quick. And Solid is prepared for him. They do manage to uh, take him down in the end. But he's damaged Ember quite a lot. It's going to be a hard pick of sorts for the side of Team Wasted Potential. And especially with Captain Cook playing... Uh... The lurk, they're able to fight a lot of. They're gonna get even harder for wasted potential, and there you go. There's the bullet going in the head of WD. Now it's just gonna be Vishnu and Velocity remaining, and uh, yeah, at, at, at this rate, they might just be lucky to get themselves uh, up an MP9 at the most. But uh, they're just gonna continue holding on to their Kevlar. Uh, very important that it goes over to the next round, gives them a fighting chance of sorts. Um, there's also CZ available on Velocity that could have a lot of impact if uh, he just decides to hold on to it. And uh, yeah, Vishnu, to be able to play a bit of a cheeky angle. See if he can uh, find someone uh, off guard over here. Hit him with a headshot. And uh, yeah, it's going to be this round done and dusted. Headshot. Going to get away with all their rifles intact. Kudos to them. They only lost one gun on Hellboy. And yeah. even when they did lose it, it's not like they allowed Wasted Potential to pick it up. So Wasted Potential still have their armor and their guns. That's it. I mean, their pistols. It's not like they have much else. Yeah. Should be a bit of a throwaway round for the side of uh, Wasted Potential. Maybe Sully can pick himself up at Eagle if he's feeling a little risky. But uh, that's about it. That's about all they're going to get. Now the question is, is uh, what's 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 the plan going to be here for Wasted Potential? Are they rushing down Banana does not seem like a good idea. So maybe they just try to go down mid, get themselves a pick or two um, during the opening. Might catch a headshot each off guard. What do you think? Mm, well, I mean... I kind of like how Wasted Potential are using this timeout to do something unique and then they can use the remainder of the round as an extended timeout. So, yeah, the I mean, it doesn't matter what they do in this round. I just hope they do something which allows them to gather information for the next round. Usually we see Headshot Esports do this pretty well. Uh, if they're on an eco, they start pushing in in a pretty unforgiving way and even if they don't win the round it's okay by pushing down mid or something like that they gather information which they can use later that's yep. the kind of stuff that basic potential also needs to do right now most certainly and uh, basic potential if they don't take map control it's uh, to be very hard for them to try and um, any sort of economic damage to headshot and headshot yeah they just uh, you know it's gonna be easy for them. oh okay another peak is actually just find one does go down ember's gonna be out to destroy his head, but he's gonna get traded up by Velocity. He's gonna pick up the beat of 50. Actually, push forward, likes to go with a jump peak, but the Molly earns him to a crisp. 
It's going to be a 1v1 between Vishnu and Captain Cook. Captain Cook is actually not healthy. Basic potential might have just actually done it. Oh. But Captain Cook, what a great angle by him. He knew where he was coming from. Nice shot, indeed. And uh, yeah, waste potential. Almost had that one in the bag, but uh, hey, that's a lot of economic damage done. Gonna be able yeah. to buy this round, and this is uh, when uh, the game really begins. So HRD Sports are using their Molotovs to clear out the first contact angles. They threw one inside the loft, one more thrown towards the banana tar, and another one to clear out sandbags. So that's like three firebombs deployed to clear out the more standard angles. But after those Molotovs had been extinguished, Wasted potential through one pop flash, and on the back of that, they got multi kills upon multi kills. If they can repeat the same success in buy rounds as well, then headshot esports are in a lot of trouble. They have to use their utility more wisely. This time, the pop flash will be dodged, but Kara still manages to get the kill onto Logi. Oh man, that's a good opening one for the wasted potential. Still, it'd be a bit difficult for them to hold on if. Uh, They're gonna try to... Yep. He's trying to get any information whatsoever, but look at how far the piece of back stuff. Gala does not have any info. I mean, he's gonna peek up with the flash to try and get some. Oh no, he's actually gonna be able to go all the way around from Coffin and Graveyard Crips. This could be a little bit surprising here for the side of Team Basic Potential. They might not see this coming. Yeah, like, that's so weird. Do they know? Did they, like, let him pass deliberately, or did he actually manage to sneak by? No, I think Kiara... he's in there. Yeah, like Kara's holding this uh, dark angle. He's not even peeking towards Banana. He's hoping that the crossfire between him and Velocity will work out, but they will check it nonetheless. Okay, that's weird. Captain Cook is able to walk in and one tap both these people. Really good shots by him, and he doesn't stop. He continues to deliver. This time, poor WD got scammed. There was a smoke directly underneath his feet, and he couldn't see the hitbox of Captain Cook, whereas hitbox uh, of his battle was out of the smoke, and Captain Cook could very clearly see where his enemy was. Yeah. Three kills, all of them by him. Great and, stuff uh, by Captain Cook, man. Just yeah. uh, blowing the B-bomb site open completely, and... Uh... There you go, it's going to be the end of the round, and once again, this is what we talked about, you know, Inferno. Once you lose control of the sites, there's really no going back. It's gone. They're not going to be able to retake it. It's going to be them trying to save up their weapons now. Sully really wants to hold on to his opposition, distracting him, and there you go. At least they hold on to their weapons over here. Headshot esports? They aren't going to be too feeling too bad about it. Captain Cook with a lot of money in the bank, can drop his teammates if need be. Did I just see a Mac 10 being purchased on this on the T side? I think I did. Yeah. Uh, yep, you did. Logi's gonna hold on to that cash cow weapon. It gets you six hundred dollars a piece. And I'm assuming they're gonna let Hellboy run rampant very close. They'll probably throw a pop flash or two for him so that he can get in their faces and spray them down, run and gun. Let's see if it actually works out though, because he's gonna be up against M4s and Hogs. There is a Macton on Kara though. Let's see if the two SMGs are able to cancel each other out or, or will they even face each other? So yeah. far, Wasted Potential have done a pretty good job of taking Banana Control. They've put down Molotov so that Headshot Esports don't push in early and then a smoke to allow Kara to get up close and personal on the bottom of Banana with that SMG. At this range, the SMG is really deadly and he might just be able to catch someone off guard if he decides to push this smoke. Yeah, and Kara is just patiently holding in there. Just waiting for someone to show themselves. And the smoke's gonna fade away. He's gonna find one. Can he get back in time? No, he cannot. The trade's gonna come through. Captain Cook's gonna find him, but uh, his trade still favors the T's. What are they gonna do now? That's the question. He'll be so pushing here's... up mid. Yeah, here's the thing because Kara had control of Banana, Wasted Potential placed four people on A because they thought they had Banana control. Now that Kara died, they're forced to send one back towards the B site. That's gonna put three on A. And if all these three people are, you know, attacked by the four terrorists at the same time. The man advantage is in the favor of the T's. One for one trade, Wizard is able to pop off Vishnu. He's gonna throw down the Molotovs to clear out the back angles, but they don't have any Molotovs to clear up close. But because the smoke is present over there, they know that this smoke is thrown preemptively to cancel out these mollies, and they're gonna be very careful. They should be aware about the fact that there is Sullied inside this corner. They're gonna try to pop flash him, but no, he wasn't flashed. Captain Cook gets taken down. Luckily, Wizard does get the trade, but it's still a 2v2. The man advantage in 
favor of recent potential and there's very less there's very little time left all he needs to do is kill the planter no they won the round already Wow. Good job by Wasted Potential. They wasted the time of Headshot Esports. They were so low on the timer. All they needed to do was throw in a body just so that they can stop the plant. And voila, they win. Yeah, it's a very simple and straightforward round for the side of Wasted Potential. Just being able to hold on and run the timer down. And uh, Headshot Esports taking a bit of a leisurely stroll there. I mean, this is not the first time we saw it happen. I think there is a... We have seen them play things pretty close to the chest where the timer is running low. So, uh, yeah, they do like to take their own sweet time with things, but uh, continue wasting it, then uh, you're gonna find much. Well, Mori's are gonna be laid out towards Banana, and uh, Control is not gonna be relinquished just yet. Kara's gonna continue holding on with the farmers, but not a good buy for the side of basic potential. They're running MP9s and UMPs. Yeah, but because they have MP9s and UMPs, they've chosen to pick up Utilities oh, more instead. No. But this is perfect usage of Utility. A pop flash by Ember, enabling Wizard to get the kill on the Opera. Hellboy follows up with one more. But here comes Vishnu, and up close in that pit, he is a dangerous, dangerous man. Puts out a smoke so that he's prepared for anyone dropping out of Balcony. And with that smoke, he can't even get traded immediately. Wizard has to take his sweet time in order to get that kill. And that balls it down to a 2v2. Still a pretty doable round. Velocity has a diffuse kit. Both of them coming in from either side of the bomb site. That smoke is going to reveal the position of one player inside Minipit. They just need to find the second one. Do they realize that he's deep in the site? No, oh, Kara loses that duel. Loki oh, puts man. a bullet in his brain and Velocity has to fall back. Yeah, once again, Vesa Potential just unable to hold on to their sights. The orb is going to be saved one more time. Velocity is going to be able to keep that weapon and take it into the next round, but uh, that's about it. I think it's that a waste of potential at this point. I mean, this is the second, this is this is not the first time you've seen this happen, you know. They uh, they, they lose the opening duels and uh, the bomb site is just wide open. Uh, can't really blame uh, the opera on the side of waste of potential there. He was just hoping to get one pick and fall back, but that pop flash, man, it uh, caught him off guard. And then even yeah. worse than that, he ended up firing, so... Uh, they instantly knew where his position was and he got swarmed. Yeah, there's really not much that he could have done. The pop flash even forced the other CT off the angle, so no backup either. They were forced to fall back into the side rather than holding mid. Mm -hmm. And this is something we've seen on Headshot Esports in every map that they played so far. Even previously in the match against Adrenaline, they were using their pop flashes really well. I mean, even on the defensive side, they were using the pop flashes to go aggressive. And if they can combine that while they are on the T side themselves, then they are able to basically win the early opening duels on the basis of these pop flashes. So that's pretty good. The utility usage is actually very impressive. Even yeah, though I was worried that Wasted Potential had more smokes and mollies left than Headshot mm -hmm. Esports in the previous round, Headshot were able to win. They didn't need the smokes, just the flashes. Yeah, and look at this, Velocity now, peeking down mid with the AWP, trying to find an opening pick, but uh, fortunately for him, there's absolutely no one that he's aiming. They've all instead decided to push towards A. Oh, here's where it gets interesting. The AWPer pushes down mid, Velocity, in a very aggressive angle, picks off Loki from second mid, and Loki had no idea that the AWPer would peak this aggressively. Ember picks off Kara, but that's towards Banana, so... One pick off towards mid, one towards banana. Both the teams have lost one one player each. Even though it's a 4v4, the advantage lies with the terrorists now because at this point the CTs are forced to split up. Two on banana, two on A. If they lose uh -huh. these battles, then the trading potential is going to be really, really low. Oh my god, poor Solid. He's getting swarmed. Both of these players, they brute force their way into the pit. Now there's only one person remaining on the bomb site. Last time Solid was in this angle, this time it's WD and he's going to be forced to get out because of the Molotov. He has nowhere left to run, nowhere to go and Hellboy will finally put him out of his misery. His potential still might have a chance though. Vishnu has the AK and he has not been de detected. I think his timing is going to be great here. Velocity though is going to molly down sight. Uh, default uh, plant of the box as it's out in flames. He still needs to wait for the smoke to dissipate. Uh, to dissipate him. There you go. Hellboy oh, is going to no. find the pick towards Vishnu and that's it. Velocity is going to be saving. Once again, wasted potential. Okay, there you go. 
nice shot by Velocity to shut down Hellboy, and uh, it's gonna be it that should uh, put the side of Team Wasted Potential or, or the side of Team Headshot to rest. Uh, they're not gonna pursue this any further. Let him save the arm into the next round because, in all fairness, uh, there's really not much the arm has done. I mean, sure, he got that first two opening pick, but it didn't result in anything. Not like it's uh, Velocity's fault, though. I mean, this hopping has been great so far, but. Uh, Side of wasted potential, just not able to convert that man advantage into anything meaningful. Yeah, that's what happens when you're in a 4v4. The CDs will be forced to split their defenses, 2 on B, 2 on A. In a situation like this, if all four terrorists just hit one of the bomb sites with uh, brute force, they will easily be able to overwhelm the two defenders over there. So, yeah, Velocity might have gotten the opening pick, but it still doesn't result in much because the trade game still favors headshot esports. Let's see if they're able to do something now. War of attrition, at least in terms of utility on banana. So much being poured down. Double flashes to enable this, but oh, Ember no. still has his eyes open. Are you kidding me? Kara sprays down two to the smoke? The kill onto Ember is understandable, but the second one was not supposed to happen. Yeah, great stuff there by Kara to be able to get those two, but then this city gets traded out, as, uh, traded out as he's dropping the smoke. Expect the other player to be playing behind those logs. Now... WD is just going to be holding uh, this angle into the side. Headshot. They still have one minute remaining on the clock. They can look to do something different over here. They have gotten banana control, but that does not mean that they need to push on to the side. They won't really have a lot of utility left, but regardless, they are going to start to make their way towards B. The smoke is going to be dropped, and uh, so they're going to take the signal to push in. WD is going to find the kill towards Wizard. And there you go. Now the T's are in a bit of a pickle. Only two players remaining alive. They're gonna have to hold some sort of crossfire. But look at that! Through the flash, WD is able to find Captain Kirk. And uh, yeah, this looks like uh, it's gonna be the end here for Headshot Esports. Only Hellboy surviving in a 1v3 and a knob. There's no way he gets out of this one alive. Um, Sullied. He's gonna continue holding over here towards. Uh, Been dropped towards Coffin and he's gonna go ahead and try and pick it up. But he doesn't have any time ever. As soon as he goes for the plant, he's gonna swap the CTs. Wait, what? Did he actually start running in the opposite? He can isolate the one once. He could end up winning over here. Slate is gonna go down. Well, we continue to hold that angle, but Vishnu is gonna crouch peak that and Hellboy meets his makers. Great stuff here by WD to hold on to the side, especially after they lost those first two. Okay. Um, teams that uh, able to actually win, based the potential, putting up a second round for themselves on the board. Perhaps. Finally, wasted potential are sowing some potential of holding Banana on their own. So far, they've been keeping Headshot Esports at bay using a lot of Molotovs and Smokes, but their flashes never really seem to do anything. That's what wasted potential is lacking in. This time, even though Headshot Esports flashes were on point, WD is still able to get frags when he's blinded. I still don't get why they did not smoke off the CT side when they were attacking Banana. That's what enabled WD to get the first frag. And then he repositioned into Coffins. That's another one. You keep giving him opportunities and uh, he's going to keep on delivering. You need to find a way to cut him off. So far, yeah. the utility usage has been on point, but not this time. But that's okay, right? I mean, they can't expect the same thing to work every time. Headshot Esports finally... They do lose a round, but they have a chance of coming back into this one. They still have plenty of flashes and utility left. Three smokes in the kitty, which should allow them to cut off some crucial areas. They're managing to bait out the utility of Wasted Potential, so that's great. Wasted Potential now have only one incendiary grenade left, and that won't be enough to stop Headshot Esports in case they decide to rush. If they bait that out as well, well, then they have nothing standing in their way with just a bunch of flashes. That's it. Yeah, you can look at the utility already starting to run dry a little bit on the side of Headshot Esports. Meantime, Wasted Potential still holding on to a molly and a smoke. Yeah. They look to slow down this push from Headshot Esports. Headshot, they need to make a decision. 40 seconds remaining on the clock. This is where they start going into the exit. It's going to be a one on the A side. All five players. One pushed up towards App, everyone else going from shot. If they can find the opening fix, it is going to be mollied up. But Sully is able to find the first kill. Kara and Sully, though. Cutting down the push single-handedly and headshot esports. Meat grinder, it's bloody as hell. Yeah, and this time the meat grinder had extra teeth. There were four players ready for them waiting on the A site. 
They put down a smoke towards Archers. They put down another one towards Moto. It's a clear indication that they're going to come in through short. And the moment that happened, the crossfire from the player in pit, mini pit, and the bomb side, it just converged upon them. It's like a hailstorm of bullets raining upon them from every direction and headshot eastwards. They just walked right into the center of that storm. Again, I like this aggressive maneuver by Wasted Potential, not wasting any time to try and get full of Banana. And Banana has been completely conceded by Headshot Esports, so we're on a bit of an eco here. Only Deagles in hand, they're probably going to look to get the bomb down and uh, call it a day, but the uh, question is, are they even going to get the opportunity to do so? For the time being, trying to peek out of Boiler, and there you go, there's the information that's needed. Wizard's going to be smoked off, but that's not going to deter him from pushing into Archers, directly into the AWP of WU, and he gets taken out! What the hell? That, I've only seen that book in my DMs, but somehow, he is able to find oh. the headshot. Kara, though, is going to be able to put a bullet in Captain Cook's brain. Oh. In Wizard's hand, it's going to have to do a lot of work. Vishnu, down to 56 points of health. Continue holding on over here. The question. Ember, something unless he a Glock in his hand. In the meantime, though, Vishnu is actually going to try to boost himself up. And there you go, he's actually found Ember, and Ember is going to be taken out. It's tough there by which to playing that pit position perfection. Hellboy, gonna be able to take out Kara as well. And there you go. Down to a 2v3. But it's a good one for Headshot Esports. They have the AWP in their hand. Maybe they can make this work. Even if they save this, it's fine. Yeah. Hellboy can go ahead and start looking at a couple of heads, but no way, way. They're going for it. They got a full send it in. Hellboy has one chance to make it. Sully just needs to stay hidden. Because Hellboy doesn't have enough time, he's gonna have to go in for the plant straight away. But yeah, Selin so patiently retrieves the op. Good stuff. Yeah, once again, patience being the ultimate virtue here. Face potential. Picking up two in a row now, and headshot esports. What are they gonna do in response? I mean, this is what they like to do, you know. After they lose a couple of rounds, they just take a breather. They try to analyze what the opponent is doing and then adjust their playstyle accordingly. Very fluid that way, but. Have they picked up on wasted potential so far? The question is, are they going to pick up on the fact that there are three people sitting towards me this time and they're probably going to get very aggressive early on? Altov actually going to deter the beauty from being in. There you go, that's the information that's needed. The op, now that it's been heard on Banana, they're going to start making their move towards the A side. They should know that there's not enough money for them to buy a second op. There's no doubt about the setup over here, but Velocity tried to drive Peek out. Oh no! He did not have faith in himself. He actually let go of the trigger there. And he ends up getting taken out there by Ember, who's still surviving with 20 HP. Oh man, that was a... That was just sad to look at. He, he knew it. He, he saw him over there, but just let go of the trigger. An uncharacteristic mistake by Velocity might cost them. But take a look at how much utility these both teams have to expend in order to take banana control. It's like a Molotov upon Molotov upon Molotov. The floor is lava literally right there. And after all is said and done, they have very little left for the actual execute. Luckily, this time Headshot Esports held on to their smokes. So this time they smoke off the Arches area, but they don't have another smoke available for Library. Which means Kara and Solid can both continue fighting. They do win the trade battle, so Headshot Esports can plant the bomb. Oh, this was so good. Vishnu could have shot down Logi over there, but Hellboy came in for the rescue. And now poor Solid, what can he possibly do? He was the anchor on the B side, and by the time he comes in for the retake, Headshot Esports already have the bomb down, they're already in position. But yeah, this is one thing I've noted from, from both these teams. They're just spending way too much uh, utility to get Banana control, and they don't even end up getting it in the end. Like yeah. both the teams, Molly upon Molly, wasted potential, try to Molly off the bottom, Headshot Esports Molly off the car area. None of them are in, none of them are fighting at that point. They're just waiting, waiting. But they and can waiting. counter smoke, but that's risky. Yeah. And once again, you can see those Molotovs being dumped in towards uh, Banana. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that was weird. It seems that there has been. Some technical issue here. I'll be resolve it. Uh, see what the issue is. Just a bit, but uh, yeah, you you've been right about that. Uh. Mm, let's see. Let, let let let's do a little bit of theory crafting. Um, 
assuming both the teams have a full buy, wasted potential on an average use three Molotovs to stop headshot esports from pushing in. Headshot esports use only two: one to clear out uh, the car area, and then the other one to clear out sandbags. They don't need to use the sandbags Molotov right at the start because it's not like they're going to be able to push in and clear out anyone who might be hiding over there, right? So, if headshot esports can somehow start baiting out the utility from wasted potential, have them run out of it very quickly in the round, maybe like in the first 30 seconds, you, you know, just show a little intention to go towards banana and then wasted potential dump three mollies over there. You show a little presence towards second mid, wasted potential dump most of their utility towards boiler or something like that. You get that done, you get that out of the way, and then they're gonna have to rely only on their pop flashes to fight against headshot esports. And let's be honest, in a battle of flashes, headshot esports will win. Yeah, they've been really on point with the pop flashes so far. Yeah. Everyone just peeking at the right time. And uh, really making you good use of those pop flashes. I mean, it takes uh, a lot of teamwork to try and uh, you know perfect the timing of, those, of the pop flash into peak. And uh, the more you do it, the better you get at it. And basic potential, they certainly don't seem to be ready for it. Four rounds on the board for them. They are going to be working with an AWP in the hands of Sullied, but uh, the question is, can that AWP find its target? It's time and time again, we have seen Headshot Esports to try and find out where that AWP is, and go on to the other side. Look at that great flash by Captain Cook once again. This is what we're talking about. Time again. You want to peek Banana, you're going to get a flash, and uh, this great team play is what makes uh, Headshot Esports so strong. Let's take a look at Vishnu. He's the own no, not Vishnu. Who is it? It's Velocity, who's actually trying to defend Banana all by himself. Vishnu just has started donating towards the P site. But he throws in a flashbang. Velocity is ready to peek. Oh no. Ember does not get flashed at all. Headshot Esports are winning their duels on Banana. Oh, and now man. that they've got two picks on Banana, they can do whatever the hell they want. They can go anywhere they want. Yeah, the map is their playground. Wizard and Ember sitting kind of low, but that doesn't really matter. Solid is going to have to take a heroic play from this man to hold on to the A side and look at that. He's actually going to go for the back step. That should give him the uh, indication that one player is going to be holding it. And there you go, he's been spotted over here. He wins the first one we want. Wizard's going to go down as well. Those are the two unhealthy players and they find the third one as well. Great comes through though. Captain Cook able to find it. Now a 2v2. One AWP remaining in play, not the best weapon to take for a, to have for a retake, but with Logi being down at 18 points of health, maybe, just maybe WD can do this. That Molly is going to have to do a fair amount of work, does it? Man, pressure onto his opponents, no it does not. Molly going to try and pick up a rifle to try and make this 1v2 work, Pips, but uh, not too sure if he's going to have the opp opportunity to pick it up because all the rifles that were dropped are on the site. If he had a rifle, it would have been so much more easier. Logi's 18 HP, he just needs one bullet to be taken care of. But this crossfire is so strong. I don't think WD will have what it takes to go for it. There's no way he can kill both of them. Not with an op for sure. That crossfire is just... is just built to keep anyone off that bomb site. Yeah. Yeah, but exit rise at least can be picked up. Because that's something. And uh, WD is going to be... Quite pleased about that, but the question is, once again, what are Wasted Potential going to do? Time and time, it seems that Headshot Esports are always able to get control of the side that they want. You know, once they figure out, uh, once they have some sort of information as to how Headshot Esports are playing, they, they start making the play on the other part of the map. As soon as they hear an AWP uh, on Banana, they switch, go towards A. I think right there. WD, it seems that he's always reacting. There you go. Now that the AWP has been heard on mid, they are going to start making their way from apps and uh, might actually just end up catching a WD off guard here. But they're taking their sweet time in apps, right? They're not going to peek right away. They yeah. know that wasted potential are going to dump all the utility in, so they're just letting them do that. Go ahead. Please be our guest. But WD finally gives Hellboy a nice little haircut. Blows his head clean off. Deletes Captain Cook as well. How the hell did he even find that shot? Did he even have a line of sight onto him? That's ridiculous. And he doesn't want to back off just yet. He is still hungry. Still holding on to that uh, shot side. 
and now they realize they're not coming here anymore they might just be knocking on the doors of banana so here's what they're gonna do they're gonna boost velocity up on top on flower pots velocity does get one but he's gonna get traded out immediately car are still good with the p to 50. Vishnu's here for backup as well. Smoke thrown down so that he can cross over into the site and now build a crossfire. But Logi, yeah, he won't be able to trade it up this time. Wasted potential, play the trade game perfectly. And guess what, Loki? This was an eco round. Yeah. They only had the op saved. The op was able to deliver two frags and the rest of them all came from pistols and trade fraggings. Lovely stuff by Wasted, uh, by wasted Potential over here. Managing to win a round which they had absolutely no business even getting into. Love story between uh, eco rounds, uh, winning out against full buys, and India continues. I mean, time and time again. Oh, it seems it's that a we toxic might... relationship. It's a toxic relationship. It seems we might be having a bit of a restart there. Player lagged out. There you go. There it is. Uh, it's again, some. Uh, I believe these are some internet issues. I mean, on on the side of uh, team wasted potential. One of the players just stared into a wall and uh, started looking into oblivion. And yep, there you go. Production has confirmed that these are indeed internet issues and. Uh, be taking uh, some time to try and uh, fix those. Gonna wait for uh, those internet issues to go away. Packet loss, man, it always gets the best of us. <laughs> Even more than ping, you know, people get mad about packet loss because packet loss is one of those weird things that you can't account for. In a strange way, you can get accustomed to ping, but you can't get accustomed to packet loss. Yeah, you can't go around rubber banding two steps forward, one step back. <laughs> That's not really the way to go. Yeah. Wasted potential? I don't know, man. I, I, They managed to win this eco round. They had such a good read on what Headshot Esports is doing. It's almost like they wanted Headshot to go towards the B side. They just had that trap ready for them. The moment yeah. they saw that orb go into action on A, they knew that Headshot Esports is going to turn tail and run. So they had a rotation prepared for it already. Yeah. I just wish they were able to play this way in the buy rounds as well. And... Uh... This is where you, you your AWPA is like, okay, you know what, since they're always running away, I'm going to try and play a little bit aggressive here. And yeah, That's yeah, what we yeah. saw from, uh, I believe it was Sullivan Velocity in one of those rounds where he found uh, two picks right off the bat, but they still ended up losing for some reason. And uh, that's kind of what we need to see uh, from Wasted Potential as an appropriate response. Um, Headshot Esports, though, they could very well just punish that aggression, you know, see it coming, being like, okay, we've lost your AWPA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... But here's the thing, I mean, so far, uh, at least in the first few rounds of the half, what Headshot Esports was doing is just punishing WD whenever he was opping. They pop flash him and then WD is blind as a bat, he can't use his op. So as a result, WD, he's playing even more aggressively now. So far ahead that the pop flashes will, you know, go behind his back and they won't be able to stop him. If Headshot Esports does account for that aggression, all then all is good, but then... WD, he's like, I'm going to take matters into my own hands. That's why he's not waiting for the counter utility anymore. He's just going ahead. Even if there's a smoke in his way, he's taking matter into his own hands. And I feel like that's great. I mean, that takes yep. away the control from Headshot Esports. It puts them in charge of the pace of the round. Yep. Once again, a very awkward buy scrape together here for Headshot Esports. I see a deagle in the hands of Ember and Wizard. And Wizard is they get instantly deleted through the smoke by Kara. To a five foot. There you go. There's the double for Kara, and now it's just gonna be a all route to pay for this man. All the kills in the world, getting baited in as well. Logi gonna be able to find velocity, but Kara's there to trade him out. Bomb Can down. Yes. Fight. Ah, got it, Kirk. He's gonna say not today, my son. But there. Uh, there you go. There's WD to avenge him, and uh, big it's cool 4K for Kara. But uh, at the end of the day, it's not buy. It's not a proper buy for the side of headshot. Support. So um, yeah, I'm not too sure what to say. And uh, okay, now uh, they actually don't have a good buy together. They're gonna be working with tech nines and and deagles. At least they have a bunch of smoke so that they can uh, block off the basic angles. Only one Molotov on Captain Cook though, so I'm kind of excited to see where he uses it. Most likely he's gonna put it down to its card, but in case he doesn't. What is he going to use it for? Oh, who's going to molly it deeper so that anyone who's holding the op angle will get uh, revealed? Nope, that was actually for sandbags instead, not even the close angle. Well, velocity though, he's still good and Kara once again will be able to shut them down. Eco round, rush B from HR Esports. 
sandbags. I, I mean, I, I, I don't really know why they have the sandbags mollied when they don't even have uh, the proper utility to take down the players who are holding the close angles. They have pop flashes for the close angles, but yeah, I mean, I've always pointed it out that they start mollying sandbags a little too early. Yep. So yeah, it was a good, it was a good thing to do, but maybe later on, maybe not right away. Or maybe if he uses the Molotov at uh, the mouth of Banana so that any players playing over there will be forced to fall back. And then players like Velocity who are playing up close and personal towards the half wall will have nobody will have nobody to trade it with. That's something they could have done, but yeah, it's okay. Still, yeah, eight seven is fine. Yeah, it's not it's not half bad, uh, but yeah. Question is, can Velocity actually make the hero play the raid boss with the B to fifty and the Kevlar? It's gonna be playing uh, either one playing uh, forward for the side of the invasive potential. Captain trying to peek towards mid and get some information. I'll spell out one, but that's about it. Wizard might be in for a rude awakening at Balcony. HR Esports have already spotted out that Banana is clear. This should be a clear indication that Wasted Potential is indeed going to come towards the A site, but they're a bit too late. Wow. Oh my god, Captain Cook! He decimates them, turns them into mince meat. All he's got to do is add some salt and a delicious meal is ready and a triple serving. It's right there on the verge of a quad kill. But hold on, Vishnu has something to say. He's got two headshots onto Logie and Ember, but now he's trapped. He's got Captain Cook cornered, but he doesn't know the location of the second player. Little does he know that the second player is towards Boiler, so there's no uh, crossfire per se. The only crossfire available is if he decides to go up towards Graveyard. This is a play that they're expecting Vishnu to make. And he's just walking right in that trap. He's picked up a fight against Hellboy, but he's gonna not win it. Oh god. And so many heart attacks in this round. Captain Cook, what's for supper tonight? It's brain stew. <laughs> All those cool headshots crack your skulls open. I was worried that. Captain Cook is going to get taken down because there's so many terrorists rushing at them at the same time and HRD Sports did not have the rotation available on A side in time. But still, yeah. Captain Cook, he delivered. My goodness, that was brilliant. Yeah, being able to hold out like that, uh, like that, just bought enough time for everyone else to come in. And even though, uh, even though I, I believe it was uh, Vishnu who found uh, two kills, it, it just was not enough. Now he's just gonna start farming up money. Ember with the MP9. His hands on the W key. It'll work for now, but eventually that W key will be pressed. Good. He considering his position, gonna move back towards library. Better to play the site than uh, trying to play those close angles in an eco round. I'm gonna get in the face of a CZ or a Deagle at close range. Those things are nasty. Still wasted potential, taking their sweet time. They showed presence to its second mid, but now they're gonna go back towards the banana area. There's already a boost up on the half wall present over there, and Ember and Hellboy, my goodness, they destroyed the entire lobby. Oh man, banana, just a uh, slaughterhouse. All five terrorists dead. And headshot esports, they're starting to run away with this one, it feels. Wasted potential. They will be able to string together by this time, so uh, let's see what they're able to pull out of the hat. Couple of smokes, couple of mollies to work with. Not all the utility in the world, but it is enough. Do and execute, wake people out. That's all that matters. HRD Sports, so they have all the utility utility in the world to work with. I see four defuse kit. Everyone's equipped with a molly and a frag. And uh, they can try to continue to deal damage using these MP9s and whatnot. That frag grenade. There, man. Nice flash there, but uh, Hellboy is only good for one. Another peak. Another peak. He's be able to take out uh, one at least. Now three people pushing in towards Banana. That frag grenade though. Doing a decent chunk of damage. And now headshot esports. What do they decide to do over here? They they can't really push out. Don't have the west. Don't have the best weapons for pushing in and trying to catch uh, basic potential off guard, but. Uh, they just continue holding on to the sites. They have, they they have even the pace up, and they also have three defuse kits. So um, they could easily just hold on for now and wait for the T's to make their move. Thirty seconds remaining on the clock. Smoke's gonna get dropped. Captain Cook 
with the molly in his hand. He's going to try to prevent anyone pushing the smoke. It sees that is the intentions of uh, the members of Ace of Potential. Uh, but they have such a good read on this. Headshot Esports are l putting down utility every now and then so that they can keep Wasted Potential at bay, but they burst out the smoke nonetheless. No fear whatsoever. Ember realizes he's not going to be able to hold the side on his own, so he falls back into Coffin, but WD overextends and still kills him. Two versus three. Retake, not entirely impossible given the fact that two Wasted Potential players are low. A double nade stack into Coffins to clear out the close angles. They knew somebody would be there, and that somebody is going to be WD. He takes a little bit of damage. The Molotov will confirm his position, but the smoke is still holding them out. <laughs> Running out of time, only one diffuse kit available. Pop Flash goes into construction so that they can force WD back, but Logi gets the trade. He knows that there's at least one person towards new box, and that's the only one he needs to take care of. But how will he face him? Loki has the better... No, I'm sorry. Vistu has the better weapon over here. So Loki's going to have to rely on his run and gun. And now a smoke. It makes things even harder. Vistu can oh, continue man. hiding in there. And Loki, he's going to be forced to fall back. At least he manages to save the AK. But the round is lost. Yeah. Headshot esports. Gonna be not uh, not going to be too uh, pleased about that. That was a round that they, fe they felt sort of... Uh, Dropped off, but uh, hey, it was AK 47s in the hand of Acer Potential. You know what? What are you going to do with AMP 9s anyway? Now they're going to have an actual buy, it seems, despite losing. Uh... Oh, wait, now they're not actually going to have. Uh... They are going to have a buy. Okay, they have enough money in the bank to get themselves uh, <laughs> proper weapons, courtesy of their MP 9s. I was confused there for a second. I'm like, wait, do they have money? Yeah, they do. So yeah, they, they're actually going to get to play Counter-Strike now, but uh, they're going to have to skimp out on utility a bit. Both the teams I mean, having a two-pointer loss bonus kind of puts them on an equal footing, doesn't it? But then, yeah, it boils down to whether these teams decide to buy in or not. I mean, just by looking at their buy, we can already see that basic potential have very less utility to work with. One, two, three. Three smokes available. Only one Molotov, though. Yeah, and uh, it's going to be used right off the bat to get some control towards Banana. That's how it's going to be utilized. And Hedgehog is supposed to letting them have Banana. That's weird. Like, basic potential was spending so much utility to keep uh, Headshot off bay when they were on the CT side. But Hedgehog is supposed to have absolutely no hesitation, uh, you know, letting basic potential take Banana. Okay, then. They must be very confident in their side defense in that case. Yeah, I think that's kind of. A, I think it's because they know that they don't really have a lot of money for utility in this round, so they're just gonna take it easy. Uh, you know, let them waste their utility towards banana. That's exactly what they've done. Now, waste the potential. Just that one smoke is gonna prevent them from pushing in, and they're gonna have to back off. Yeah, but here's the thing, Floki. Only one smoke is available on wasted potential, and they've used it towards arches. Clear indication that they're gonna be hitting a shot. No more smokes left. And on top of that, there's a massive gap in that smoke, so it wasn't even used properly. They're still going to have to be paranoid. And they're ah. pushing their own smoke towards arches. Wait, is this really happening? Are they trying to go towards arches? If they do that, there's going to be Captain Cook ready for them. And he's already picked up a kill onto WD. The top flashes fail! And Velocity, he gets flashed instead. 20 seconds yeah. left, Wasted Potential have no time, no utility, and at this point of the round, they try to make a Hail Mary play towards the B-side, this is disastrous, Hellboy is prepared, Ember gets a nice pop flash, Kara is blind as a bat, and there's not much that can be done, but wait, they got both the picks, they can get the plant done! How on earth did Headshot Esports let this slip? Wasted Potential have a realistic chance of winning this one now, but no utility left! No head armor either. That means the M4s can tap them away straight out. Oh man. Down to a 3v2. Velocity not too healthy. He has a lead in his hand. Not the best weapon to work with either. Vizu's gonna put a bullet in his brain. Vishnu finds one, but that's all he's good for. The bomb is gonna be diffused. Unnecessary peep by Velocity over there. If he stayed inside the pool and helped his teammate out to its coffins. He would have been eventually killed by the CT player, but at least then he would have helped his teammate, right? So, yep. yeah, the crossfire wouldn't be broken in that case. But that's okay. I mean, micro decisions like these are really difficult to take when you have footsteps all around you. You gotta prioritize the targets. Absolutely. <laughs> the, and... the, the reason they lost that round was not because him looking in the wrong direction. The reason they lost it was they spent all the utility and did not 
capitalize on enough exactly. control on the back of it. This, this is all I talked about, right? They just throw in one smoke at B, a uh, headshot esports, and all of a sudden, these potential are like, ah, no, 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 we, one smoke, we, 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 we gotta respect that. They just run away. <laughs> and all the utility, the utility that they've spent trying to get into uh, the site is just wasted. Not like that move is wrong by any means. I mean, yeah, they, they're good at cutting their losses short, but after all that investment, what's the next plan? I mean, you don't have any map control towards apps. You don't have any player playing towards uh, A that's given you any meaningful information. So, what's the point? Hmm. Now, once again, wasted potential. The same thing's going to happen. Look at that, Banana. I mean, they, they're just going to throw one smoke down and uh, wasted potential. They're going to be forced to back off. Mm, but I kind of, I, I, I was liking it up until a few seconds ago. So what Wasted Potential was doing that they had one player deep in mid. So he was just staying there and gathering information while the rest of them continued to creep up towards Banana. If things go well, Velocity might be able to call in a rotation towards the A site in the nick of time. But no, Ember is prepared. He's already battling them. Vishnu knows he's on top of the box. So he peeks up on the ledge to get a headshot onto him. But can he win against Hellboy? The backup flashes are arriving. Hello? Oh, um. Someone clearly stuck. Uh, Hellboy, though, still sitting on the side, is going to be able to pick up both Vishnu and Velocity, and that's going to be the end of that. Uh, sure, they end up losing. Uh, sure, they end up losing out and up, but at the end of the day, it's uh, still a round one for Headshot Esports. <laughs> it's funny how Velocity was able to get to a CT base like that. Yeah. Well, I, I think what was going yeah, on in his mind is that he, he heard the footsteps, but he assumed it was his teammate or something. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, what we call garden gaming. <laughs> he just strolling in anywhere. No kiss in the world, hey, it's probably my ally and damn, headshot. No, like, it's not. Oh my okay, god. Okay, I, I, I like this though. Captain Cook. Peek out early on, getting the pick towards Kara, and this is going to deter the side of Wasted Potential from pushing in anywhere. I mean, it's more than that, it's even going to force them to commit towards one place on the map, and that place is going to be the A site. Hold on. It's going to be Wizard. Wait, what the hell just happened? How did Logie and Hellboy disappear on the face of the earth? How did they get into the site without anyone knowing? But this is brilliant. They still have a player, a CT in mini pit, and he hasn't revealed himself yet. Wizard, now he finally strikes, but uh, it's all right. At least it's a 2v2, so not all is lost. I thought maybe if Wizard goes undetected in pit, then he will be able to strike from the shadows without anyone realizing. Now they've got a decent crossfire going. One on top of the closed box, one inside pit. This crossfire should be able to hold off any CTs coming through, but the Molotov is going to force out the terrorist over there. In fact, he's taking so much damage as well. Ember is able to headshot Velocity. And now all they got to do is wide swing WG both at the same time, and they will be able to win the round. But they go in one by one. Captain Cook still lands the shot. Yeah, he find the time for the diffuser. Does he have a kit? Oh, no. Does he have time? I don't think he actually has enough time. He's actually going to end up losing the off. Oh, my goodness. Headshot esports. Ah, Captain Cook went in for the diffuse before collecting the kit, and he didn't have enough time as a result. Oh man, that's uh, gonna sting. Headshot esports. The round was practically in the bag, but a uh, few missteps here and there is gonna cost him. Now they're gonna pay for it in their economy. They actually don't have money to scrape together even a semi-decent buy. And they continue holding on to their USB. No loss bonus, mind you. So remember, Hellboy's economy is going to be completely atrocious after this round. But maybe, maybe he can make do with the Farmers. Farmers? P250? Oh no, <laughs> that's going to hurt. Loki spots one player in apartment, says, Nope, backs right out of there. At least he's got multiple people present over here. But Captain Cook takes a bullet to the head by Dumpy D. Oh. And it's just a bunch of eco frags going in the way of wasted potential. Finally, they're able to put the headshot esports winning spree to a halt. <laughs> or maybe not yet. <laughs> it's been a favorite. while since I've heard that song. I yeah, love it. I love it. I love it as well. Oh, uh, it's perfect. Yeah, but headshot esports, this time around, do have money to buy here. Only Hellboy is going to be working with an MP9 or a Farmers of Sorts, and it's going to be MP9, the weapon of choice for him. Basic potential, how do they want to play this round? That's the question. They have uh, AK-47s all across the board. But where do they strike? Oh, and that's actually a Galil, I think, on Sullied. Not wrong. Yeah, there's a Galil. He's gonna push oh, through oh, his oh. own Molotov. 
What the hell? And he's gonna get taken out by Ember. Okay, Ember's gonna say thank you very much. He's gonna pick up Kara as well. Ember gets traded out, but there's still Hellboy will go on the side and he's dropped the smoke to prevent them from pushing in. I don't have words to describe the cojones of this man. He's gonna have balls of steel the size of Jupiter to make a play like that. It would have worked if I there mean, was a pop flash on the back of it, then they wouldn't have expected someone to push through the molly. But they had their eyes wide open and Ember was like, that's the reason I'm called Ember. That's the reason yeah. I put that Molotov down there. It's supposed to burn, it's supposed to hurt. That's the thing though, I don't think that was, uh, was that Ember's molly? Because I, I think that might have been their own molly to clear out battles. Uh, no matter whose molly it is, Ember's still gonna be happy. Yeah, his I name mean... means flames and fire is his best friend in this particular round, but hold on. Oh, the timing! What? He sneaked right past them! I don't think oh the player God. in library has any idea that WD is over here. Oh! Oh! They saw each other! Did they? Did they? Oh, no. WD saw him, but he didn't... So okay, that almost looked like he was gonna flub it, but does find the kill. Towards the end. And now, the control of the B-site has been relinquished. Or it has it. Hellboy still standing near Coffin. Work. Bomb's gonna go down. There you go. There's a response from the side of basic potential. A 3v2, a very doable situation here for them, but uh, they have an AWP in the hands of Captain Kirk. It probably needs to be swapped out for a rifle or he needs to be set up. I don't want to think. Molly towards Kirk is gonna pose on velocity. Logi is gonna be finding that kill and Hellboy is gonna put a bullet in Vishnu's brain just like that. Round it belongs to Headshot Esports. They're not gonna make the same mistake twice. They're gonna give the defuse to the player with the kit. It actually don't. They, they end up giving it to Hellboy. <laughs> so as soon as I say that. Uh, I love what WD did in this round. This is the second instance where one of the players of Vacent Potential has managed to sneak into Arches. Yeah. Uh, one time it was Velocity, this time it's WD. I'm starting to... I, I hope Vacent Potential are starting to see a pattern over here. If Headshot Esports are weak in their Arches defense, they can always send people down mid, take control of Arches, then they can fall back and go banana later because by that time headshot esports would have already wasted most of their utility on banana already that makes things easier oh, certainly. see preemptive molotovs without any provocation by headshot uh any provocation by waste potential whatsoever oh on the edge of that smoke he goes beyond it and amber gonna go force the issue they know that basic potential are on an eco they do not want to let them Roll up, gather all their forces, and hit one of the sides. They're gonna hit them right back before they even have a chance. Yeah, instant push out from both sides. A and B, and there you go. That's gonna be the end of the aggression from Visa Potential. Two players, both playing just uh, on the on the edge of banana, and uh, yeah, just gonna be velocity remaining alive with the mob in his hands. He'd be lucky to get that thing down at this rate, but uh, one minute left on the clock. No reason to be hasty, but the velocity will still commit seppuku and uh, get the round. 14 to 10. Basic potential lose this one. I thought they're gonna be on match point and they won't even have a good buy. So, uh, yeah. They've, they've cashed in all their chips and uh, they've gone all in on this round. I see very little utility in the hands yeah. of basic potential though, Chris. That's very concerning. Two smokes, one Molotov, barely any flash. No, wait, two Molotovs. Two Molotovs. Okay, that's good. That's good. At least they can clear out some angles. One of them used towards top mid. The other one towards banana car. Both Molotovs used up. At least they have smokes, but it doesn't matter. The mollies don't matter. Ember, Hellboy, they continue pushing. They brace through the smoke as well, and even Kata gets picked up. Yeah, that first frag onto Salir, I can understand. But Kara getting sprayed down through the smoke randomly, he's going to be so mad at that. Yeah. He did not even make a mistake. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a mistake <laughs> right there if I spot one. <laughs> Velocity accidentally shooting uh, his own teammate. Um, oh, man. <laughs> he responded in kind as well. That's the worst part. He gave away his positioning. He knew that there were two players at least. Now, Captain Kirk. And it dropped that molly. Prevent any push going in from A shot. That's gonna be the end of the round. An op in the hands of WD in a dream. That must be accomplished in the next 50 seconds. Oh, Mine's no. one. Starts working on it. That's the first step. First rung in the ladder, but uh, still four more to go. I don't think this is happening. He's probably just better off saving that op. 
26 HP. I thought he was, I mean, in, in his own mind, he would have been very paranoid about getting shot from Banana in case he tried to make that crossing towards the T entrance. But he did so nonetheless, brave man, doing it dry like that. Yeah, 20 seconds remaining on the clock, Trips. I think uh, the call is given from the side of Wasted Potential. It's going to be to save the off, and uh, it's going to be it. Question is, do Wasted Potential, or rather, do Headshot Esports go ahead and chase? Try and take the op away from the hands of WD. Even more so, try and take the op away from the hands of WD after the timer goes down. That's the question. The answer is going to be no. The op will survive this round, Trips, but there's not going to be any utility on WD as a result, and... Uh, Oh man, look at the money on the side of Wasted Potential. They have nothing. Zero. Not. Nada. Well, Headshot Esports, they take Banana Control very, very aggressively. In fact, they're even using that Glaive Smoke on cars so that any Molotovs that Wasted Potential throw will be completely denied. And then Headshot Esports get to, you know, fight on Banana nonetheless. Yeah, full Too ghost early. meal for yeah. a headshot esports. Uh, he's a potential. They're working with scraps of bread. That's all they have. Well, WD is going to be able to clear out that angle at least with the op. Good to know that no one's going to be playing to a shot. And, uh, should. Give the go uh, or the heads up to uh, the rest of the members of basic potential. Oh no, unfortunate timing. Huh? Uh, just give us a minute, folks. We'll be right back as soon as this problem is fixed. Don't go anywhere. Just uh, give us a moment to just uh, see what's going on and fix the problem. Well, the players of basic potential have been having internet issues.